With this awesome and professional app, you can now make insane collages and Instagram pictures. Make sure you watch right till the end to find out how. Hello everybody and welcome back to this brand new video where today I'm showing you this brand new app on how you can create collages and Instagram pictures insanely easily and professionally and make them look super super cool and without any further ado let's get straight into this. So this awesome app is called Pixar and as you can see it's really really easy to download and set up just like any other normal app and all you've got to do is quickly make an account or you can log in with Facebook. And once you open the app, you're greeted by this, and this is like a brand new social media. Pixar is literally a new social media. I think it's one of the best ones right out there. So you, the first thing you wanna do to create your collage is go to the plus section. And once you're on the plus section, you need to go and take some pictures. So just do that in your normal camera roll, and once you take some pictures, come back to this video. Now with the pictures, you can now go and make a really awesome collage, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So all you gotta do is scroll down here and simply select one of these so you go for grids, freestyle or frames and I'm simply gonna go for grids just like so. So I'm now gonna select the images so I'm gonna go for this one, this one and this one. So I've now got four images, you can go for how many ever you want and then it'll fit it into your collage. Then click next and now it's gonna load all the images and all the different sort of, I guess different ways you could have it and you may get an ad click X and as you can see we've got so many different ways of presenting our pictures so we go for a nice X we go for a really straight X or you can go for kind of like um, a one large one and then three small which I'm gonna go for I think it looks really dope and I think it'll look really good on the gram on Instagram so click next and now it's gonna basically save this for you and at the bottom you can also choose the background but we can do that at a later point anyway so it's not a huge deal so the next thing you want to do is maybe um go to the border tool and now we can change the basically the size of the border so if you want to increase the outer you can do that but if you want to do the inner you do that and as you can see it does um increase it so i'm gonna have it pretty big because i do enjoy having it quite big and you can make the radius make it more curved like that as you can see it changes it so i'm gonna have it a bit curved because i think it looks really nice on instagram and make it pop out more and then click apply and it's going to apply it for you now also you can actually draw so what we want to do is click on brushes and as you can see we're going to get a brush it may take a minute to load um and now we can add loads of effects and stuff like that so as you can see you can go stuff like that and you can draw it on super super cool so obviously i kind of did completely overdo it then so i'm going to do it back but i think adding one or two may look really really cool uh, i think i'm going to go kind of where goliath is like, like that i think it looks really dope and then click apply and it's going to apply it like before really really easy to use guys like i've already said um it's just so so good we can also draw if you want to by simply coming to the draw tool and as you can see you could draw so maybe if you wanted to I don't know, you could maybe um, go a line under glass to make it pop because obviously, you know, Razor's a nice brand. So what we do is do a line there, like that. And I'm gonna kind of go under it, just kind of like, just make it pop. And I'm gonna do a bit more simple. I'm sorry, I just wanna make it really, really dope. Like that, that's what I'm very happy with. Click apply. As you can see, it's a low key, but it really kind of looks like a bit of a nice piece of detail. And you can rub that out and change the different sizes. But I'm gonna click apply, just like so. And you can also go and change the border by clicking fit. Now here you can go and change the ratio if you want it to be 3 to 4 like so. Square, 3 to 2. I'm going to keep it on square because it looks really good on Instagram. And you can change the background really easily by clicking that. But obviously I don't have a background set so it won't work. But if you do, you can go and do it that way. So I'm going to click cancel because I didn't do anything. Discard. And now it looks the exact same. So the final piece I'm going to add is some text and maybe a sticker actually. I'll show you that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is type my... Uh, gaming if I can spell my gaming setup just like so and I'm gonna go tick and now down here once it loads we can now change the font so uh, it's really easy actually you can just swipe along and see all the different ones I'm gonna go for a kind of gaming feel uh, so I quite like actually I think I quite like the first one you know nice and bold and oh no I'm gonna go for banya that's really cool and add a stroke as well so this is gonna add a, just a bit of a an outline to it and you can change the color to make it pop red looks really nice I do like that actually I think I'm gonna go for that and then go in obviously you can change the font the color the opacity the opacity kind of makes it more um, invisible uh, so I'm gonna lower the opacity just a little bit so it kind of blends in a bit but also pops and once you've done that obviously just click apply and it's now gonna save it and that's really it guys so now you click next and you have the option to go and save it in your computer but it also posts it for you so that's really really cool so you can go and put free to edit just like that um, and click post 
and that will post it for you and you're on the social media like I talked about at the start but then you can go and save it as well so you save what we do is just click more and you can come and get the options of saying um, obviously save um, save to files and stuff like that but also you can click done and post it on your Instagram and click done like that and bang then it's gonna export it for you and that's it guys and then once you posted it it's gonna look like this on your profile you can come and follow me if you want and you can click on the three dots and click download and it's going to download it to your camera roll for you it's that easy guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure you go and download it right now because it's such a good app and make sure you download using the link down below smash a huge fat like subscribe down below and turn the bell on for more awesome content just like this and i look forward to catching you in the next one peace